I'm at the London Comic Con and Gaming Festival. Is this a new must attend event? Explorer, UK Comic Cons and Gaming Festivals have graduated Comic Con University and hit the big time. They're in London for the first time. Is this a Comic Con sent down from above to change your life? What are its best bits? What makes it stand out? I've been to events by these guys before, Exeter and Plymouth, so I've got a fair idea of what to expect. Cosplay, props, shopping, video game area, plenty of fun stuff to see. We've got a friendly face back. James from How To Game Differently will be helping me out today. Intro's done. How about we change things up and go and look around the convention? First time I've been to a convention at Evolution London. It's located in Battersea Park. Quite easy to get to from Euston Station, about 15 minutes. And total bonus, it's in a park, so when it gets hot in here, it's really easy to go outside and get some fresh air in nice surroundings. Outside there's food trucks, a video game bus, but the main convention all takes place inside. Something I have really enjoyed is the ceiling. Look how cool it is, just like a beautiful night sky. The main thing this convention leans into is its prop displays and cosplay. Should we go take a closer look? Sun is shining, it's hot, it's sunny. Where am I? I'm indoors. And I've spotted one of my favorite things to buy at a convention, a Christmas decoration. There's a couple of options there, quite the cliffhanger. Shall I get it? Shall I not? I think this will be a pricier one. So I'm gonna wait till the end of the day and see if it's still here. And then I may pull the trigger. to the Comic Con and Game Festival experience is their prop and set builds. Some of the stuff you'll recognise, some things I've seen at the previous conventions, there's a whole bunch I haven't seen before. Right behind me there's a big Game of Thrones area. I don't actually watch it very much, so I'm not sure how popular all of these items will be to all of you GOT fans. I was a big fan of Wednesday though, which came out earlier this year. When I saw the pictures online in advance, I wasn't sure what to expect, but they've done a pretty commendable job. There's some nice touches to this bit. The sets and displays are at either end of the convention floor. There's quite a few different areas, lots of photo opportunities. Should we take a closer look? So far it's been calm and easy to get around, which is a relief because I had to get up really early to get here on time. Couldn't be dealing with all that pushing and shoving of a hectic floor. The venue is spacious, very manageable, so you can really take your time and enjoy yourself. I think it's shaping up to be quite a fun day. There's a lot to see here, so we really want to get stuck in. But what do you think? Did you make it down? Let me know in the comments below.
some really nice dice bags from Martinique Elliott Illustrations. Probably not going to put any dice in these, but they'll be great as a substitute pencil case or for paintbrushes. How useful are those? And they're a bargain of only £5 each. to Megacon, there was something that I uh, saw advertised that I couldn't find on the day. Fortunately, I've spotted it today. What is that mysterious object? We're going to find out right now. One provided by the South End Ghostbusters. How cool is their display? They've got loads of awesome things. I think most of this is custom built. X01, I don't think I've actually even seen it at a convention before, so it's a nice treat to finally tick that one off on my convention car list. Comic Con and Gaming Festival's other events, this really leans into the family friendly side of things. It's really focused on community and bringing people together. And if you ever fancy coming to London for a convention, but the thought of shuffling around MCM or Showmasters, one of their packed events, puts you off, this is a great taster for a London convention experience. If you're after a spectacle, go to MCM. If you want something calm and relaxed and easier to enjoy, come here. And surprise, surprise to probably no one who watches my channel regularly, but I did go for the Gizmo Christmas decoration. It's $13.99. Not even 14. What a bargain. Another perfect addition to my Christmas tree. To see how this compares to one of their other events, Exeter, click left or click right in a few weeks when I'll be at MCM London. Or maybe I'll do something before then. But either way, see you soon, Explorer.